Hello and welcome to Knit My name is Cody and in today's video we are going to work on altering my baby bird pattern that I did in my last, well my tutorial before last. There we go. It's all going to be linked down below. I made this cute little baby bird. He's super cute and very eastery, springy themed going. And then someone on my discord showed me a cute little duck that they had made and I figured this would be a perfect way that I could do a little duck tutorial on my channel. So I decided to do a little duck with little feet and a different kind of beak. Basically that's what we're going to do. I am going to link down below how to do the bird body and the wings. We're going to start out with a duck that is already pretty much to this point. Again, links down below for where you can find the markers for all of that. I'm gonna put a little uh, screenshotable pattern as well as down below there will be linked a Ravelry pattern, which you can download for free for the first week. I believe I'm gonna have it listed for $3 after that. So if you wanna support the channel, you can go down in the link down below and you can go either find the coupon for it within the first week or, you know, purchase it there, or you can just screenshot whatever's on the, the video as well, up to you. So we're going to show how to do the cute little duck bill and how to do the little foot. And I'm also going to show a little screenshotable thing, how I changed the colors to make it so that there's this little mallard version as well. It's the exact same pattern, but I'm going to change the colors a little bit in order to create this cute little mallard effect. But I'm essentially gonna be showing how to do the bill and how to do the little Feet, and I'm going to show it with this and also their eyes are a little bit different this is a nine millimeter eye and these are 12 millimeter eyes so I'm assuming you've already seen my first video if you've gotten this far now and you will need some nine millimeter or 12 millimeter depending on what strikes you fancy these ones are also 12 millimeter these are nine so I think I like them actually better with the nine millimeter versus the 12 but that's all up to you these are 12s and I'm going to go with that the difference between the eyes on the body of the duck is that I actually have them spaced out between five stitches to give more room for the bill. So instead of putting your eyes four stitches apart, I put them five stitches apart just to give a little bit more space. Also, as always, if you're interested in doing the velvet version, you can always size up. Well, size down essentially. So you get your velvet yarn, you get your yellow and you get your orange, which is essentially what we're gonna be using for our main body, but that's gonna be worsted weight yarn. I am using, I love this cotton for the main body in both this glowing orange and this buttercup yellow. But if you wanna do it with the velvet yarn, you can essentially get whatever you have. I think this is Brene. And I just use a size I, which is down like two to three sizes from what the wrapper of this yarn calls for. So just go down a couple sizes and make it so that your stitches are close enough together that the stuffing isn't gonna show through it. And that's the only real recommendation I have for altering this pattern. It's super cute, but it is also significantly larger. So if you're looking for a bigger emigrummy, this might work out well for you. And it's super soft and super cute. And also these are 15 millimeter eyes, I wanna say, maybe 20s, I'm not 100% sure. Basically, you start with your body, you're also going to need a size D3 or a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. This is my furls hook. Again, I'm an affiliate with them, so if you are interested in getting yourself a furls crochet hook, links are down below. I love mine, this is so pretty. And you're also gonna need a darning needle and some scissors. I'm using my yarn, I already used the yellow that I need for the main body, we have our main body done let's go ahead and get going on our bill and I'm gonna post the pattern for it right here I also forgot that I wanted to show the chicken version as well I think this is super cute and if you want a tutorial on how I do the little comb I updated the bird pattern so that it has the comb so if you purchased that before even if it was one of the free coupon ones you should be able to get a download for that I'm going to update it later on tonight I'm also doing this cute little donut all right I just wanted to throw that out there because it looks like he's wearing a little donut floaty and I think it's super cute and I love his little feet they're super adorable all right let's go ahead and get going on the bill it is super duper easy these are very easy adjustments and this should be a fairly quick tutorial. What you're going to want is you're going to want to get your orange yarn. And if you're doing your mallard, you're going to want to get your buttercup or your yellow or whatever you're using there. We're gonna create a slip knot. And now that you've done your slip knot, you're going to want to chain five. So one, and try to make these as loose as you can. Not so loose that it's absurd, but like nice and loose, you're gonna go back into these stitches. One, two, three, four, 
and five. We're gonna skip that fifth chain right there and we're gonna go into the fourth chain that we made. We're going to single crochet one inside that chain. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. So the third stitch chain that we made, we're gonna do a half double crochet where we pull, wrap over, pull through. I've got a little piece of fuzz right there. And then we're gonna pull our work, working yarn through all three of those little wraps right there basically. And now in our second chain that we made, we're gonna do another single crochet. And now we are back at the first chain and we're gonna put three single crochet inside of that one chain. So one, two, three. Like that, I kind of tug on it because it likes to try to open up. Then we're gonna go into the first chain that we see on our way back there we go. So the back of our first chain, one, two, three, and that's the fourth, and we skipped the fifth, so that's fine. We're going to grab our tail, and we're going to hold it as if it is a piece of our work and kind of work it in. That way it's a nice, even piece there. And we're going to single crochet. We're essentially repeating what we did on this side, but we're mirroring it on the other side. So we single crocheted one. We're going to go back inside and go into this back stitch, wrap, and do a half double crochet keeping our tail as if it is a piece of our work the entire time. Wrap and go through all three, and then we're on our second to last back chain, because we skipped again, like I said, and we're gonna single crochet one, and now we are on our last back chain, and we're going to go in there and put three single crochet. Very carefully, I'm trying not to split my yarn. Keeping our tail, again, as if it is a piece of our work. We're gonna go one. Oh, I think I split it. I did, oops. There we go, I didn't split it that time. There we go, much better. One, you can always undo your work, and if you need to undo it, you need to undo it. It's not a big deal. And three, it's not nearly as big of a deal with crocheting as it is with knitting when you have to undo something, at least in my opinion. So we're then going to slip stitch off into the very first single crochet that we made earlier on. So I have a way that I like to do and attach this beak. It's not always the way that everybody wants to do it. I like making it so that it is flat though. So if you just wanna attach it like this, you're free to. It doesn't give it really much of a bill look though. I am however going to take this tail that I was working with originally. I'm gonna kinda of tug on it, let it do its thing, and then I'm going to cut it off. That way it's out of the way and I don't have to think about it. So here, what I like to do is I like to take my back stitches. So when you have a stitch, you have this front loop and then you have this back loop. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of bend this so that it is like so. I hope that makes sense. And then we're gonna take our tail and we're gonna go through the back loops and attach them and so cross zigzag essentially. I'm going through the back loops, bringing it together essentially. Now this back loop and this back loop that are adjacent to each other, we're gonna go across like that. Back loop and back loop that is adjacent to one another. We're then going to pull on that. Back loop, back loop, adjacent. And then these are the last two that I can do that with. Back loop and trying to only go through the back loop like so. This kind of makes it a little bit bunched up on the back and brings it together and makes it look like that. But it also keeps those front loops open so that they can be sewn onto the face. So essentially, we're now going to take this and center it around the nose area where you'd put the bill pull that through, and then I'm gonna go through the front loops and sew like that. This is how I liked doing the bill, and I think it looks a lot better. Mind you, when you're sewing together velvet yarn, it is a lot harder to sew those pieces so that they don't get fuzz everywhere. It is such a pain in the neck. Oh. I also try to go slightly under, so I go on the row that is right below where I put the eyes originally for the face. I also like to tug on my tail every once in a while. It brings it together and it makes it look a little bit more neat. 
and I just go around the entire thing and oh I went into that one already let's go this way just trying to evenly space it underneath those eyes just trying to evenly space it underneath those eyes and not catch my yarn on the eyes I tug every once in a while it makes it pull it in a little bit and helps make it look a little bit better essentially I'm gonna go over here and try to get this little loop to go down a little bit and try to hide it a little bit better and I'm just gonna go around the entire thing and go back the other side I hope that makes sense. And the feet are actually super duper easy. And again, I cheat and I use my hot glue gun half the time, but you can easily just sew on the feet too. I just cheat <laughs> and I don't like sewing. As you can tell, I'm not the best at it. So I am not always one that wants to sew everything. I think hot gluing things makes it look better than how I usually can sew it. I have to sew this part, so I do basically. And we're almost done. I'm almost back right to the beginning. We're gonna grab here, grab this, and I'm gonna stab it through the entire body and try to go through the bottom. It's a little less noticeable if you get it kind of through the bottom. And that is how I do my little duck bill. All right, so now I'm gonna cut my tail and we're gonna work on the little feet. Oh, and whenever I do cut my tail, sometimes you end up with a contrasting color that just is sticking out. You can easily just kind of squish around and that'll go right in most of the time. Not always a guarantee, but most of the time it will. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our orange yarn again. I'm going to leave a nice six inch long tail for this one because I am going to use both of my uh, beginning yarn and my end after I cast off to sew this in. And what I like to do here is we're going to take our darning needle. This is super quick, I swear. I just make my magic ring, which again, I just do by chaining two very loosely. So one, two, I skip my second chain and I go into my first. And I'm just going to put four single crochet inside of that chain. One, two, three, and four. We're going to pull our tail so that it is nice and tight and it holds up that little spot and one two three four and we're going to then slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made there and I'm just going to slip stitch off while trying not to split my yarn like so if you want your feet to be a little bit bigger you can make them a little bit bigger but i like that size so i'm going to cut like so and we're going to create a second foot i just pull my yarn out right like that i'm going to take my darning needle and you can easily just sew it in i think i'm just going to attach it for right now but i may hot glue it on afterwards what you can do is just take your darning needle and go through the front of your stitch to kind of tidy it up a little bit. And then I evenly try to figure out where I want my foot to go on the little ducky. So I kind of just press it where I want it, figure out where the yarn's coming out from, and then I'm gonna just stab it through. And half the time I just take a hot glue gun, hot glue it on after I've attached my tails, just to make it so that they are nice and firmly not going to go anywhere. You can also take your tails and go in multiple directions if you would like it to do that as well. So that is a little foot. I always try to make it a little bit inward from the eye. It looks a little bit cute if it's lined up with the eye like that. Let's go ahead and make another foot and I'll be right back. So that is pretty much all there is to this little duck tutorial. I just wanted to show how I used um, my yarn to make a duck version with the beak and the little feet and show how I made a little mallard as well. These guys are so cute and I'm very excited to be sending them off to some family members for uh, Easter. I'm pretty excited with how cute they are. I've been seeing people hatching their little ducks and chickens on Facebook and it's super adorable and I cannot ever get over it every single season. I just love seeing little chickens and ducks and I loved this version that I saw on my discord we have a discord server so if you're interested in joining us down there 
you can see all kinds of fun activities over there and get lots of freebies where I post like a lot of draft patterns and stuff that I'm working on over there. So go ahead and pop down to Discord if you're interested. We have a Patreon. We have all that other stuff that you've heard about a million times. If you're interested in this little chicken version, let me know. I think he's super cute. I love his little feet. And I made this donut. I also made this donut and I made all the donuts in the world. I also made this giant donut, which is like two times the size. So let me know if you are interested in little donuts. I might do that a little bit closer to summer because, well, summer i think they're super duper cute let me know what you like to see down below comment down in the description i may try to do some kind of giveaway with my big velvet versions of the animals i still need to do my uh review on the dollar tree velvet yarn it is fraying a little bit as i'm working with it so i'm not super excited about it but basically that's it thanks again for watching and be sure to like subscribe and hit the little bell before you leave if you want to see more videos like this until next time guys bye